I remember everybody was talking Isaiah and Michael. Isaiah was only upset with Michael said, try to ice him out, not going to give him the ball. I, none of that is real. Well, there was a beef between Isaiah and Michael. You want to know what the beef was? What was the beef about? Okay, right now, exclusive on Velocity TV. It. Isaiah goes home, and his nephew is wearing a Bulls jersey, Michael Jordan Bulls jersey. Okay. He said, hey, what, what, what are you doing? We're in Chicago. This is my team. It's his nephew. He He's not really understanding that it's the great Isaiah Thomas place of Detroit. We don't wear that. We wear this. But I'm I'm from Chicago. I'm I'm down with the with the bull movement. Isaiah was mad at that. Not to Michael personally. In his brain, every time I play against this dude, I'm gonna try to get, I'm gonna try to go off so my nephew sees this is the jersey you should wear. Never at Michael. Well, what about the whole dream team situation? That was a that was the craziest thing because when you hear the story, in Magic's words, Magic says on his document he was the reason Isaiah didn't get on the squad. Well, because the story that was circulating was that Jordan said that he wouldn't play on the dream team if Isaiah Thomas was on that team. Michael that's doesn't. not true. No, he, he loved playing. He loved Isaiah. Really, he still does. So all that's just a myth. He loved Isaiah. He loved everything about us in Detroit. Right. He was. On fire now. This is my this is my 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 homie. My first TV show, the John Sally Show. Michael comes. I go pick him up from the hotel in 1988 and bring him back to my set to shoot it. Get him some food and bring him back to the hotel. I would trade my tickets with Scotty and Harris because they have people in Detroit, and then they would give me two tickets when I went to Chicago. Like outside, it, it's right now. LeBron and them, you see it. We had the same things. People you were cool with. Dow Walker was always my man. Um, uh, Ron Harper, when I go to Cleveland, I go to Ron's house. And he takes me back so I can get on the bus and then tries to kill me the night that we're playing. But these, these, you know, we have relationships outside of being on court. Um, but Magic, in Magic's documentary, Magic says, because he was upset with Isaiah, he said, because there was no way Stockton is the greatest thing. I'm glad you put him on. Chris Mully, I'm from Brooklyn. Mully, if you tell me to pick a team, I'm going to pick Chris Mullen first anyway. Um, Christian Leitner going instead of Shaq. Now, that was political on that part, but Magic said he blocked it. Michael uh, doesn't have okay. Michael. Michael doesn't even talk. See, that's another thing. The, the things that are different now is Michael didn't have conversations about that. Uh, what time he play? You know, he's introverted. Okay. Well, you played for the Bad Boys, yeah. and you got two back-to-back -back yeah. championships. Yes. And you guys were really shutting down Michael Jordan until Pippen arrived. Exactly. It, well, until they decided Pippen was going to be more, uh, he was going to play more and be more involved. Because we're back and forth, the Bulls are not even a conversation. And then... My second year, they bring on the two young guys to emulate Dennis and I, right? But they're both better shooters. Um, Horace is more structured than I am. He's playing longer than, more than I am. Uh, but then Scotty was an anomaly. This was the, we don't know what to do with this. Like, Joe is our best uh, guard defender. Well, you got MJ here. So Joe has to play that. Or if you put Dennis on him, who's going to put it, it's Dennis had to play too. Remember, we had to go through our AD transition because Michael was going to have to try to guard AD. That's AD's going to give him numbers. Check the stats. It's it's we had a better we had a better team. They wind up having a way better team when Scotty was given more responsibility, and it changed when Phil took over. Phil's second, second year in charge is when he realized propaganda. Say things in the newspaper about us being thugs and we don't play basketball the right way. Same thing Johnny Most is saying. But, the, but then when you talk to James Worthy, the real bad boys were the Celtics because they can do anything they want to. Okay, I mean, because people can, you know, felt that you guys played dirty. Yeah, they felt that. And um, it was so funny because Phil Jackson said that. But... If you watch, it, this is the funniest thing, when you watch uh, toughest fouls, uh, toughest players and all that, they, they put Rick Mahorn in there. Hmm. 
the, out of all of us, they put Dennis Rodman play, but you'll see everybody else. You'll see how tough all these other teams, Jack uh, Issel, uh, Unsell, uh, 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 Bob Lanier, they, they go back to those days when you come in the paint, this is where men are, that, that mentality. You, you come in here high flying, we're gonna put you on your back. It's one foul. That was a mentality. Uh, they, they stopped a thing called a breakaway foul after the Scottie Pippen thing, but it was a rule. The guy's going to make a layup. What did you? What did they used to say? Make him make it on the foul line. Uh, it's a hockey thing. Hit him. <laughs> if you're going to come in here, don't just foul him. Foul him to block the shot. Don't ruin his career, undercut his legs. But all up in here, he got to take that hit. 